Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is your wearable news update for December 2016. Fitbit is officially buying out Pebble and that's kind of bad news if you're a Pebble owner, especially if you've bought a recent Pebble release. The Pebble Time 2, the Pebble Core are not gonna be produced. Any Pebble 2s that haven't shipped yet will not ship and existing Pebble 2 orders that have already shipped are not eligible for refunds or support or warranties from Pebble now on. So Pebble is pretty much non-existent and again, this means if you're a Pebble owner uh, or if you've just purchased a Pebble device, you're kind of screwed. If you were thinking about buying a Pebble device for someone on your Christmas list, seriously reconsider that decision, buy something else like a Fitbit. Mio is on record saying that they will announce the Mio Slice this month. Uh, now, we've been waiting for the Mio Slice ever since CES of last year, so it's been almost a full year waiting for this device to be released. They haven't released it yet. Now, that's a little bit frustrating because we haven't seen any new Mio products really at all this last year, um, but what that does mean is that Mio is wanting to wait until they have the product you know, actually finished before they release it to the public. And that's kind of good because there's been a lot of wearable companies that just try to rush to get their products out the door and they end up being colossal failures, think the basis peak. Um, and so this is, you know, just a good sign of Mio wanting to hold on to the release of the product until they've got it just right. Uh, so with that being said, I have personally been in touch with Mio and I was told that while they will be making an announcement probably here in December, uh, we probably won't see that product ship until the first quarter of 2017. So um, we won't have it immediately in time for Christmas, but we will have it here in the next three, four months or so. CES 2017 is literally right around the corner, so I'll be flying out to Las Vegas here within the next month to go to CES and report on all of the new wearables that we see hit the market or all of the wearable announcements. So I anticipate announcements from Garmin, I anticipate announcements from Fitbit, uh, hopefully again we'll be able to get a hands-on with the Mio Slice um, and you know lots of other wearables are trying to kind of come into the market um, that's very hot right now for fitness wearables so make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and follow me I followed uh, fitness wearables at CES literally better than anybody else in the world last year so make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're interested in fitness wearables Ugh, I just got a email right in the middle of saying this and I did it so well. So that about wraps it up for wearable news for December of 2016. Make sure you you hit like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. My name is Eric. I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.